Welcome to Tiger Town. Joka Marchant Stadium, rebranded as Publix Field. We're gonna go see the Tigers take on the New York Mets today. So it is about 9.30 in the morning. We're outside of Joka Marchant Field, or Joka Marchant Stadium, Publix Field. Home of the Detroit Tigers. This is absolutely my favorite spring training facility. In addition to that, it's one of the only stadiums, I think it is the only stadium that has their major league ball club still attached to it since inception, I believe. So this stadium has been here since 1934. And in an era of major league teams, holding cities hostage for new facilities and upgrades and looking to move out for more dollars. The Tigers have stayed true to Lakeland, Florida and this stadium. I love this place. And we're lined up to go in the third base entrance because we paid $5 extra to watch batting practice. You can take batting practice from the berm or from the other side of the field and catch five balls when they come over the wall. We're inside. All merchandise here, $25 or less. We are heading out towards the berm. Catch a little batting practice. Snacks and drinks on the fly. So this stadium has a bunch of corporate sponsors. Beef O'Brady's, there's a Hooters, a Margaritaville, an Outback. I'll show you everything here in a little bit. The Tigers are out there stretching. So you can go up on the grass over here, or you can be right on this wall, over the warning track. right there. Check that out. That is where our seats are later, in the 34 Club, all the way across. It's a new addition. Suites. We are not sitting in the cheap seats today. So we actually did bring a glove today, and a ball. We'll see if we can get anything signed. We can either watch batting practice from here, or we can go up there and watch from up above. This giant digital scoreboard was added last year. We didn't make it out to any games though. This guy is cleaning the bird poop off the wall. We're going to watch a little batting practice and see if we can catch some balls. So far we've only had one ball that was hit over it this way. Hit the wall on a bounce. Nothing over the fence yet. It's pick, 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 well within the field. Decent shot. Mid center field. Uh, shy of the warning track. This guy got yelled at for putting a cup over the fence to catch a ball. And they threatened to eject him. Finally one over the fence. Up, oh, back to the track. I feel like the next one's coming this way. Oh, it's off the wall and right. in here. Oh. 
two over the wall. Two and a half hours before game time. This is what it's looking like. Lots of people here. Just looking to catch some home run balls. That's coming back. The tall guy gets it again. On top of the kids. People behind me are arguing because that guy caught through of the home run balls already over the guy's kid. And he refuses to give up one of the balls. The Mets are entering the field. We're getting ready for the Mets to switch over. The stadium is now open for other people to get to their seats and so forth. Two hours before game time. And that is a wrap for Tigers batting practice. No. Here come the amazing Mets. By the way, this looks like David Wright over here. No number showing. But it looks like I'm too new. All right, I watched batting practice for an hour and a half. I caught zero balls. One went off my glove, though. Closest I ever got to catching a ball. This is the view from up, up the berm. I'm gonna go up here for a moment, take a look around. So we're walking on this concrete path up above the berm. It's kind of like the higher berm. Back here we have a practice field. And this is kind of like, I think, the Corona Plaza, or Corona Deck. So we have some food. You can watch from these patio chairs up here. It's the Corona Cabana. So just beyond the Corona Plaza, we're heading up back behind center field. We have another view of that practice field over here. The inflatable flying tiger. We are directly in center field here. See some of the field maintenance equipment in there. And here's the big flying tiger. To the right of the flying tiger we have all kinds of like little kitty stuff here to do. So kids can be entertained when they come to the park. And you have a stand over here so you can just have a beverage, some food, watch the game from out here. This is pretty awesome. Directly below, Mets bullpen. And on that side, Tigers bullpen. And by the way, just like the Mets had garbage cans with their helmets, so did the Tigers. Today's starting pitchers for the Mets, Stephen Mets, and Michael Fulmer for the Tigers, and this is the Hooters Plaza. Just relax in some of these Miller Lite lounge chairs, beach chairs. And then we have the view from left field. This is the Hooters Plaza up here. A little history here. And we have the Tigers Hall of Fame numbers that are retired here. Including Jackie Robinson. He's retired at all. Major League Ballparks. So we move on from the Hooters Plaza to the Pepsi Pavilion. All these areas are new, I believe. At least the branding of them is new. Once you make your way from the Pepsi Pavilion, you're then at the Outback dugout entrance. So there's seating that you can get in here. Get your blooming onion. So we normally come out here every year. Last year was the only year, I think, since we've been living here that we haven't made it out to at least one game in spring training at the stadium. Love it. This scoreboard, new last year, looks gorgeous. The upgrades here are phenomenal. So we've got some beverages at the beach bar, 
Some ridiculously oversized chairs here. There's a buffet taking place over here. That's the selfie spot. There's regular food for sale. Chicken tender basket, nine bucks. Hot dogs, five bucks. 50 cents more than down in Port St. Lucie for the Mets. You can get a burrito bowl here, beer, Coney Island hot dogs, ice cream, strawberry shortcake, and then you have the team store. This is a map, Florida, where all the minor league teams play, single day ball. Of course, we have been out to many Tortuga games. It's one of our favorite teams to visit, as well as the Fire Frogs and the St. Lucie Mets. Here are the starting lineups for today. Detroit, women walking by, the Mets. Standing right in front of the board, although everyone's standing behind trying to fill out their school cards. I like this Tiger's hat. It's pretty sweet. Spring training. We'll stop in the store after the game. It's packed in there now. There's a plaque for Joker Marchant Stadium, dedicated 1966. Joker Marchant was the recreation director. from last year. Pretty cool. There's a little history and heritage. Tiger Cub brand. Florida Orange is a grapefruit company. Founded in 1937 in Lakeland Highland City. A citrus package house. Got a little Caesars here. More ice cream and shortcake. And then you have a mac and cheese kiosk here. We can get a souvenir helmet with mac and cheese. And this is another map of Florida, this time with the locations of spring training sites for all of the major league teams that play in Florida at least. Not the ones that play in Arizona, obviously. You can see there's not many left in Orlando. Braves last left. The Astros jump ship, moved down towards West Palm Beach. They used to be over in Kissimmee. They're one of the teams that argued for more money and a better complex. I really dislike the fact that these teams hold their counties and cities hostage. This is it. By the way, the Yankees over in Tampa, we were gonna go see them tomorrow, sold out. They're playing the Mets. The tickets that we have today in our suite cost the same price as what we would have paid in Tampa for the Yankees for a general admission ticket through the scalpers. This is a cheesesteak grill kiosk here also, nine bucks for a cheesesteak. We made it up to the 200 section. We are heading over there to the 34 Club. Our 34 Club includes all you can eat, food and drinks. Detroit officials and Publix officials in these suites. This is cool. This is where we're going. Wow, this is really impressive. Ty Cobb, Hank Greenberg. Al Cologne, of course, this is a little more of my speed. Sparky Anderson, manager, Detroit Tigers, 84 World Series champion, Sparky Anderson. Victor Martinez, Ivan Rodriguez. Wow, look at this. This is blowing my mind. 84 Detroit Tigers. On our seats, we're in the next section over. You get padded seats. Let's see what kind of food they have. You got your own dedicated bar here too. We have to start off with, we got a nacho station, Southwest egg rolls, mini chicken cordon blues, chicken wings, blue cheese, celery, peanuts, coleslaw, salad, mixed greens, Caesar salad, artisanal cheeses and salami, penny pasta, asparagus, hamburgers, baked grouper, barbecue chicken, hamburger station, Coney hot dogs, sausages, the fixins. Look at these desserts. New York style cheesecake. This is the first go round. This is the view from Dylan my seat today, Boyle, too. Winner Look of a this. VIP experience through Kids Pack Charity. Not too shabby. Oh, say does that star spangled. to a Tigers game without this song playing. Oh, what it happens. You can 
here at Pin Drop in this place. Jose Reyes at the bat. Not a big fan of Jose Reyes and his off-field exploits. Todd Frazier is at bat. He's the one that hit on drive before. While well, I was out there on the berm, and it bounced off my glove. I was reaching over the wall. Oh, foul ball just came right to us. Oh, come on. That nut didn't help at all. The Tigers have the eye of the Tiger. How prophetic. Flores gone. Two runs. Victor Martinez has a pinch runner. So he basically went in the dugout, got his bag, and now he's ready to like head out for the day. Nice <laughs> stuff and a sign autographs on the way out. Seventh inning stretch. One, two, three. The most lethargic crowd ever. We got a tied game in the ninth. We'll go downstairs, check it out from the first level. In the team shop, finally. This is some of the items that they have. I like this button down shirts. This is pretty great. Beach towel with a photo of the stadium. Same thing with the koozies. You got all kinds of bottles and balls, spring training shirts, yoga pants, sports bras, hats. I like this a lot. I'm not a Tigers fan, but if it was Mets, I'd like it. Flying Tigers. I like that hat. Tiger Town, USA. Oh, I like this too. This is logo on it. That's pretty cool. This is the hat that we saw before in the window. It's cool looking. They're never gonna miss you. This is the best shirt. Simple logo. Spring train on the back. St. Patrick's Day hats. Fitted. That's cool. I like that. It's the wicking type of hat, like spring training. 42 bucks. And they have shirts that go with that. Very cool. Change our view for the bottom of the ninth. That was it. Game ended in a tie. I guess it's better than a loss. That was a really fun day out of the ballpark. I do love coming to this stadium. I love that little package that we had. I ate so much, my insides hurt. And that's gonna do it for us for now. Thank you for coming along for the tour, for the game. Thank you for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you wanna be treated. Have a great night or day. See you guys.